Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a max upgrade so that you can only buy uh, our third upgrade, our rebirth buttons upgrade, a uh, certain number of times before it stops letting you. So let's get straight into it. So to get started I'm going to open up the leader stats script and we're going to go under, up, uh, we're going to find our upgrade free cost under the leader stats, copy it, all, and paste it under here, we'll call this upgrade free max, paste that into the name and the value and the the name is going to be equal to upgrade free max like so and the max level we have five rebirth buttons so at level zero you're going to have one level one you'll have two buttons level two you'll have three level three you'll have four and we've got five so we want the max upgrade to be level four because then you'll have five upgrade buttons rebirth buttons sorry which is what we have so i'm going to set the max by default to be four okay now we can close that and under our started gui under our upgrade shop and uh, upgrade free we can open up the uh, the text under the button and where we've got the level we can say dot dot and then a forward slash to say out of and then another dot dot player dot upgrades dot upgrade free max dot value and this will now uh, display so say we've got this to be level two this will say um, cost blah 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 gems uh, level two out of four for example Okay, now what we're going to do is go under our events script and under our upgrade free event here, we're going to add an, we're going to drop down um, to above this uh, if uh, statement here and we're going to add another if statement. This will be if player.upgrades dot upgrade free level dot value is less than player.upgrades dot upgrade free max dot value then and now what we're going to do we're not going to hit enter we're going to go from this uh second to last end here all the way up to this if here and we're just going to hit the tab button on our keyboard and this will do something called indent the code which means it will go forward about four spaces and it indents the code just to make it look nicer now you see we have a red squiggly line here so if we hover that over if we hover over that sorry uh it should tell us something which it uh, expected identifier when passing expression got um, and then a closed bracket now this basically it can be a bit confusing but what this is really trying to say is um, we, we're missing an end basically so expected identifier when passing expression so what we can do is just uh, drop down from this second to last end here click the backspace and we'll um, unindent this I don't know if that's a word for that dedent I don't know uh, and we'll just type, we'll write in another end because you'll see we need an end for this if statement and an end for this one. So now that red bar has gone. Now this is pretty much it. If we were to now hit test and uh, play, I'm just going to play near the shop. Uh, play here. Um, we don't need to save this value obviously because it's not going to change. Uh, sure, you may update the game in the future, add more rebirth buttons. I'll show you how to do that um, for testing purposes. But if we run over here, we're going to hit buy upgrades here, we're going to uh, click this and we're going to see 2 out of 4 so we're going to buy that 3 out of 4, we don't have enough gems to get it again uh, we've got 4 rebirth buttons, if we want to get it again let me give myself, let me just give myself some more gems uh, for the sake of it, so under leader stats gems I'm going to give myself just 100 gems or something so you'll just now see if we uh, get this again, we've got 19 gems so we can buy it again but it won't let us because we have reached the max level and you'll see if we were to leave and rejoin, it will still be the exact same thing. We won't need to save it because it's a constant value. It never changes. It'll be the same for every player at all times. The max is the max. There's no way around that. So there we go. It still sells 4 out of 4 and we can't keep buying it. Awesome. Now let's say in the future we want to add another rebirth button. How do we do that? Now, to do that, under your rebirth GUI, you're going to, as always, uh, find your rebirth, your scrolling frame. You're going to add a new button, uh, which we'll rename to 6. Um, rebirth event in here, so the rebirth value, I might make it to be 50. Uh, we can then close, uh, this will be rebirth 50, blah, 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 rebirth 50 in brackets. We can close all of that now. Uh, I believe that's everything there. So we've now got another rebirth button, rebirth button 6. So we need to go under the handler, copy this rebirth button 5, this local rebirth button 6, 
and this uh, scrolling frame six. Uh, and then we'll add a uh, else if rebirth level dot value equals five. Then and we want to add rebirth six dot visible equals true. Now I know this looks a bit long, and you can uh, do this with for loops and things like that. But I'm not going to get into that much detail. It, it doesn't really matter unless you have like tens upon tens, you know, like fifty plus buttons. It doesn't really matter. In fact, actually, that's pretty much it. We don't need to save anything in the data store, of course, because um, we don't need to. Uh, what we do need to do is under leader stats, we now need to go for, change the max value. So you know how before we had four out of four, we couldn't buy any more. Here, we'll just make the upgrade uh, free max to five because we've added a new button. We now hit test and play here, and we should be able to get the uh, six buttons. You'll see we've got rebirth 25 in. We buy this next button, 5 out of 5, can't get it anymore. You'll see we've now got this other rebirth button. I know it kind of crops it out a bit. You can play around with your scrolling frame to fix that uh, and your list layout. Now we are actually going really fast. We have 500,000 points, so if we're going very fast. Um, but you'll see if we were to go and click to rebirth 50 times, you'll see we get 54 rebirths. We get all the gems and whatnot. And when we respawn, you can change the respawn time as well. I'll be doing that. Um, you'll see we're back to where we were. Awesome. So everybody, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I, what I will do actually quickly is go under uh, starter player and change the um, character. Where is it? Not starter player. Sorry, I want start. Uh, I want um, I want players. I'm going to click players and change the respawn time to zero, just so that I respawn instantly. So now if I was to die, you'll see when I respawn, I'll die. I'll um, respawn into the reset character and instantly respawned. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, everybody. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video where I'm not actually sure what we will do. Okay, in the next video, we might start working on other island uh, upgrades. So you have to, say, maybe get like three upgrades here. And then you have to go to the second island before you can get more upgrades. And then you have to go to the third to get more, etc, etc. So I think that's what we'll do next video. So I hope you found it helpful, everyone. So I'll see you then. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.